So today I'm going to be showing off a brand new module to add to the Elms family uh, called the Course Manager. Now uh, I may have talked about this a long time ago, but I did write a module called the Course Manager uh, about two years ago, and it was very much tied to our architecture and wasn't very flexible. So uh, just for starters, what Course Manager does in our infrastructure is it's a centralized site that uh, reports to and kind of gets uh, reports from all of our courses that we have. Uh, so we have a site that's you know slash courses and then all our other sites are slash courses slash R10 for example um, or R20 or R211 any of those. Uh, so they all actually draw their users from the courses site which is uh, part of our multi-site installation uh, but I'm just going to show off some of the features uh, of, of the module itself. So what this will do is it will scan out to all the sites in our infrastructure and build out links to them, uh, bring back the title, what the path is, and also tell you what your role is in that system. Um, this is also something that we can use to check on other people. Uh, so I can enter a, uh, enter a user account in here and see, okay, so this student it, well, it's not really a student, but this person's a lead instructor in this course, and they're an instructional designer in this course. Um, this lets us, you know, check roles very, very easily. Um, another great feature of this, which is going to be very permission specific for you, anyone else, is uh, create course button now. Uh, so what you can do is just oh, I already made one with that name, and then my new course title. And you get the option to create it based off of any other course that's in our infrastructure. So I'll build one off of uh, Art 10, Advanced Options. You can pick any other theme right here. So I will say, you know what, I want Art 10 to look like Large 65. Uh, you can get a glimpse of the, the enabled themes if you'd like. Some additional options, we don't really use those, but they're there for um, just in case. Um, you can also enter angel strings here. Uh, angel is our content management system at Penn State that we use to synchronize users across all our sites. So I'll hit submit, and this is actually using, uh, working in conjunction with a modified version of uh, the backup and migrate model or module. Sorry, and um, I'm gonna take a little bit of time here. This is a pretty big course. Uh, some of the other good features about this is we have a create instructor course uh, Activation codes, which is something that we just it's a proprietary system um, And also managing users so you can see here uh, Here's some feedback from the backup of migrate module. There were 32,760 SQL queries committed there um, This goes creates a database dumps everything to a file from art 10 and then re-imports it into the new name here database so I can click to go to this course, which I will. And now you don't see the address at the top, but it actually is courses slash name here. And here's the outline of Art 10, but looking like our Large 65 course. Uh, we get a lot of requests to make courses that are like others or that have content like others. So this is, works out great for us. Um, as you can see, it also added it into the structure here. Uh, there's my name here, of course, and with the title, because uh, it is based off Art 10. Um, we can also manage users across sites, so we can do global ads, global drops, add all courses at once, uh, give them you know any role like. You can also check real fast and see who is in that course that isn't a student or instructor. Uh, this is really good for if we add someone to our department, remove someone from the department, uh, you know, need to give specific uh, view, uh, you know, additional grants to just a random uh, outside person, uh, visitor wants to view our material. Um, we also have a manage course access page, which will do uh, house all of our angel strings as to where we're pulling from for those. Uh, so this is a course manager module. Uh, if you're interested in it, please let me know. Thank you.